beach. Total about 22 years. Action. I was locked up. And the CEO came in and said, we know how to cut hair. And where I was at, it was no movement. So I said, me. So when he took me there, my first haircut was a shag. And the cat told me just to even the shag out. And I threw the one on the back of on the, on the oyster. It came from the bottom. Shoot! So the guy jumped up like he was going to beat me up. The CEO separated us. Fixed gate the bottom, giving the guy a flat top. Then after he fixed the cut, he said, I thought you said you knew how to cut. I said, a little bit. He started laughing. He said, you know what? Half of this game is confidence, so I'm going to teach you how to cut. Uh, a change of life. I needed a job and a new source of income. I uh, found out through the legality of the business, barbershop business that is, that uh, you had to have some type of certification from the state in which you resided. So I was told to go to school. Three weeks was in the school, the owner told me he could get me a job. And about two weeks after that, I met the owner levels. He gave me an interview, which was an audition, cutting various types of hair. And I've been here ever since, nine and a couple of months. It varies, it depends on the flow of business. If, it, if it's no business, it's quite humorous. If it's business, it's separate. You know what I mean? Every chair got their own thing going on because you're entertaining as well as servicing your client. So, but if it's no business, you'll wind up conversing with guys in various chairs throughout the shop. The Bronx. Uh, I think they call it Mount Hope. It's like Washington Avenue on 71st Street. When I first got here, it was a uh, cat that worked here. Me and him didn't get along with it all. He was like a shark. He was like a real greedy shark. He wanted to eat all the little fish in the sea. Yeah, man. Um, the guy that used to work here told me to take my time. Because the person waiting on you is going to know that you're going to take your time with them also. Um, and then the person that uh, works in the front, one of the co-owners, he told me to detail my cut. He said, when you think you're done, look at it again. And basically, that's basically been the flow of my clientele because I take my time and I detail my cuts. The downside is you really don't have a social life because if you meet somewhere for X amount of time, you're gonna wind up getting an appointment type clientele. So that can have you coming to work at 11 and leaving at 11. By then you done burned out 12 hours, you ain't really trying to go have no type of sociability with nobody. And that's like on a six day basis. The upside is you do your own boss. As long as you follow the rules of your establishment, can't nobody tell you what to do other than your client that's basically requesting a certain type of haircut.